Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Melania just called security desperate for help after what happened to Barron overnight. We have grown accustomed to seeing the evil of Hollywood these days, but sometimes one of the Hollywood cult members says something so vile and twisted that it makes you wonder if they are even human. This morning the Daily Caller is reporting that the First Lady of the United States was forced to notify Secret Service after Peter Fonda took to the Twitter to call for the kidnapping of Melania and Donald Trump's 12-year-old son, Barron. Peter Fonda, who is Jane Fonda's sibling wasted no time in attacking the 12-year-old boy. And by doing so he has proven beyond any shadow of a doubt that mental disorder runs rapid in the Fonda clan. He has been on a Twitter tirade against White House officials most of which have been primarily females and children over the past few days. He even called for the public caging and rape of Department of Homeland Security Secretary Christian Nielsen in a tweet Tuesday and in the vulgar tweet, Fonda said Christian Nielsen is a lying gash that should be put in a cage and poked at by passers-by. He continued, the gash should be pilloried in Lafayette Square naked and whipped by passers-by while being filmed for posterity. Here is more on this breaking story via Fox News. Actor Peter Fonda has a social media army and the Secret Service on his back after a twisted Twitter call to rip Baron Trump from his mother's arms and put him in a cage with pedophiles. The brother of Jane Fonda also called for violence against Secretary of Homeland Security Kirsten Nielsen and called White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders a C. A rep for Fonda told Fox News the actor wanted to make sure that Melania and Ivanka communicate with the president the dire circumstances of separating mothers and young children. The rep added on behalf of Fonda, my response is the move was evil same as the Pope. Donald Trump Jr. stood up for his younger brother, who is 12, calling Fonda's since-deleted tweet sick and asking for Sony Pictures to drop the actor from Boundaries, which is due out on Friday. Trump Jr. also called on his followers to go after Fonda on Twitter. As an FYI at Sony Pictures has a movie with him dropping in a few days. I wonder if they will apply the same rules to at I am Fonda that they did to at their Al Roseanne. I have a strange suspicion that they won't do anything. Please RT, we deserve an answer, Trump Jr. tweeted on Wednesday. Sony Pictures did not immediately return Fox News' request for comment. Stephanie Grisham, the First Lady's spokesperson, called the tweet sick and irresponsible in a statement to Fox News and said the United States Secret Service has been notified of Fonda's threats. The Oscar-nominated actor didn't stop with his tweet about President Trump's young son. See if mother, Melania Trump, will will, sick. Stand up against the giant a-hole she is married to, Fonda tweeted. 90 million people in the streets on the same weekend in the country. F. His tweets were in response to a Trump administration's policy which has reportedly separated nearly 2,000 immigrant children from their parents at the U.S.-Mexico border. The 78-year-old actor also went on a tirade against Sanders and Nielsen calling them G.H., saying the vulgar slang term is much worse than C. Fonda called for violence against both of the women saying Sanders is a lying G, and that her children should be taken away and given to Trump adviser Stephen Miller for safekeeping. He also compared Miller to Nazi propaganda minister, Joseph Goebbels. Fonda's tweet where he called for Nielsen to be stripped naked and publicly whipped was applauded by Nancy Sinatra. Sinatra tweeted at Fonda, Say how you really feel, blues baby followed by a heart emoji. A rep for Sinatra did not immediately return Fox News' request for comment. Fonda's older sister, Jane, 80, is no fan of the Trump administration herself. At the 2017 Emmy Awards, Fonda made headlines for her comments about the president. In, the film 9 to 5, we refuse to be controlled by a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot. And in 2017, we still refuse to be controlled by a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot, Fonda and actress Lily Tomlin declared. Peter Fonda joins a group of celebrities dash including Reese Witherspoon, Oprah Winfrey, Kevin Costner and Willie Nelson dash in publicly denouncing Trump's border policy. After Roseanne was fired from her own show for a joke we will just have to wait and see what Hollywood does to Fonda. But my guess is they will probably honor him at the next Oscars presidential just like they did with Weinstein even though they all knew he was an alleged sexual predator. More importantly, though, this is why Hollywood is failing. These people have no clue what it is to work for a living. No, pretending isn't hard work, it's a hobby, and these people are not to be looked up to, they are only a step up from mere streetwalkers. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.